all right what's up guys so in this video i'm going to be doing a review on the callaway rogue driver all right so we just got back from the range um, was testing out a few different clubs irons all that kind of stuff and what i'm doing in this video is giving my initial thoughts after picking it up i'll be talking about the pros i'm going to be talking about the cons and then i'm going to talk about whether or not you should purchase it or not and then also i'm going to give the best place cheapest place for you to go out and buy it all right so let's get started so what i want to do first is give my initial thoughts after picking up the club now this is kind of before i've actually swung the thing all that kind of stuff so you know after i picked it up it felt really similar um, to the other callaway models out there um, i don't know if you've ever used one before if you've swung one you've hit one all that kind of stuff but callaway um in the previous models have always been my favorite driver to go to um and this one felt pretty similar to all the other ones out there you know there was the epic there was the xr16 um felt pretty similar to those the only difference um it was a bit lighter than the previous epic um i didn't really like that so much um, i prefer a bit of a heavier driver um like stuff like tailor maids are always normally pretty light um, i'm not, not normally a fan of those but um, this one was lighter than the previous Epic, but it wasn't like over, overly light, right? It was an extremely good looking driver. I really like the design and stuff. I know that doesn't really make a difference, all that kind of stuff, but it does, um, it did look really nice and, you know, sitting and dress, it felt and looked really nice as well. Um, and then it also had a slightly bigger head than the previous Epic as well. All right, so let's talk about the pros. Now, this is after I've hit a few balls. Um, these are the three main pros that I found with this. The very first one that it def definitely has more forgiveness than the previous models. Um, according to Callaway, it was 60% better forgiveness. Um, and I could definitely see that. I don't know if it's 16% or whatever, but I definitely um, could see a difference between hitting um, the Rogue versus hitting the previous Callaway models. Um, it definitely had more forgiveness. Um, the second thing was that it provides more club head speed. Um, that was just the, 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 the newer design to it. Um, it had slightly better, better club head speed. Um, that along with the forgiveness um, gave a little bit more distance as well. And the third big thing was the sweet swap was actually wider. Um, the, the previous Epic was more like a kind of a compact. So this one's more, um, it's a wider sweet spot. And that's kind of where you get the forgiveness from. All right, so the cons of this driver, we kind of talked about it before, but there was two, um, you know, they weren't huge things, but they were, you know, just slightly, um, you know, kind of there. And the, the only downside that I could really find was, one, I'm not really a huge fan of light drivers. We talked about this before. Um, it is slightly lighter than the previous models, um, but you know, if you like, like tailor-mades, um, they're kind of like something similar to that. Um, it wasn't a huge deal, but I definitely would have liked it to be a little bit heavier. That's just personal preference. I know a lot of people like the light drivers. And the second thing was um, looking at the Epic, coming to this one, the sliding weight on the back is gone and it's kind of set to a neutral drop position. And that basically adds one degree of loft, um, but it's not a huge deal because you can also de-loft it as usual with, with the adjusting face. Um, so it's not a huge deal. Um, not huge cons, but definitely um, two things that um, could potentially be an issue for you. All right, guys, so that's basically my initial thoughts, the pros and the cons of it. So is it actually worth it? And, you know, overall, it did give me a slightly straighter and longer shot compared to previous models. It wasn't a huge amount, so don't expect it to be like a huge difference, but, you know, it, sli it was slightly straighter. Um, it was more forgiving and it was slightly longer than the previous models um, but like i said before i do prefer a slightly heavier head um, something like on the xr16 which is one of my favorite drivers but other than that it's a great club all right so is it worth it short answer yes it is it's a it's a great club i definitely liked it um and i kind of looked been looking around to find the cheapest place to buy this club um, and what I did is I left a link down in the description where you can check out and um, that's the cheapest place that I could find for it. Alright, so hope you enjoyed this video and we will talk to you in the next one.